not a knife, it's just a piece of metal that's okay. hooked onto a handle. But if you look at it very closely and, and rotate a little bit, you'll see that it's two different kinds of metal. There's uh, literally almost like they're sandwiched, two little pieces oh, of metal yeah. that are glued together. So while you're looking at that, I'll fire up the uh, torch, because what's oh. a science segment without the torch? Exactly. All right. So now watch, this is a, a very, very cool metal. So okay. let me show you what it looks like when we put it and when we heat it up. When you heat up this metal here, the metal will actually curve. So you oh, see how it's that. starting yeah. to curve? Yeah. This is the same kind of metal that's in an old thermostat. So when the metal gets hot, oh. it bends in one direction. So if you could imagine this, not in these extreme temperatures, mm -hmm. but if something gets hot, all of a sudden it would come over here and touch a switch, for example, and turn on your thermostat so right. that your air conditioning would right. go. Right. And so now see how the metal is bent. So this was hot. What I want you to do is I want you to take this now and now put it in the cold water. So just, just dump it, down, it in there? Yeah, just dip it down into the cold water. Oh, look at that. Notice that. And so when you come back, pull it back out again, it's perfectly straight wow. and you've got it. So that bimetal kind of strip that's there it has been used for a long time. When it gets hot, it bends in one direction. Yeah, yeah. We had liquid nitrogen, and you know about that liquid <laughs> nitrogen, don't you? I think we have video of that. And, and then when it gets cold, it bends in the other direction. So oh, it's great. very, very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> but there's a different kind of metal that I wanted to show everybody, and I actually uh, spread one out for you okay. here so that we can see. This is a, a little spring. It's called nitinol wire. Nitinol wire? Nitinol. It's an alloy of nickel and titanium. And so let me okay. pull it out, and I'm going to ruin it for you. So I just oh, okay. ruined that spring. Right. So there's a little spring there that just got ruined. It's and ruined. normally if you take a spring and you pull a spring out like this, mm -hmm. uh, there's absolutely no way to coil it back together. So if I asked you to kind of work on coiling it back together, you couldn't. You couldn't but yeah. this is a very, very special metal that has a memory. So let me move this beaker out of the okay. way. And we have two beakers that you see that are down here that just right. have hot water from the hot faucet. Water. Okay. So what's going to happen is slowly you're just going to put that into the water and I want you to watch what happens. Right. So go ahead and put it in the water and watch what happens. There it goes, there it goes, there no it goes. Way. Pull it back out again. And look at that. Isn't that Can just amazing? That? So you're oh, back to wild. exactly the way it was. Isn't that amazing? So you pull it out and you're set. I've got this one set up over here and I'll show you what yeah, it looks look like this. When, when it goes inside. So we're, we're there. As soon as it goes in like this, look it at starts that. to coil back up again. So it literally is coiling back up again and oh, it retains its, uh, its shape. So you can imagine what the function could be for this. This could be pulled out a little bit, and when water got to be a certain temperature, right. like an anti-scalding faucet, right, right, right. automatically the, screen, uh, the spring would close down, close off the faucet so somebody wouldn't get hurt. Right. But you could actually even do it with electricity. So watch this. I'm going to stretch it so out like this. It a little bit of electricity. This will work. So we uh, just have a 9-volt battery. So okay. here's, our, uh, here's our wire that gets hooked on here. They use this, for example, in uh, doctor will use it, they'll take an artery and they'll put this metal down an artery and really? then the body temperature will cause that piece of metal to open up, so a clogged artery, it'll fix like that. So you're looking at it, now I'm just going to touch it to watch. the electricity and now watch what oh. happens. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, so it's just wild. the heat, and it comes back again. That's They're using wild. it for bones right now, mm -hmm. uh, so it hooks two bones together and keeps them. Just the heat of your, your wow. body will do that. Even the glasses that you buy, you bend the frame, right, right, right. and you put it in warm water, right. they'll pop back into their original shape, which makes it very cool. Well, we want to we want to get people onto the uh, the website because you said you put a bunch of stuff on there. So